on thin ice. If someone says that you are on thin ice, it means that you're doing something risky, dangerous, unsafe, or perhaps it's tricky, uncertain, unpredictable. The countries on thin ice, if we don't get the vaccination rate increased, the leading doctor and epidemiologist for your country says on the evening news, Maybe you turn down an invitation from a buddy to go to the ball game. Sorry, I'm on thin ice with the wife, and you know she thinks watching baseball is a waste of time. I'm already on thin ice. I don't think I should take a break. That is not allowed. You might be telling a co-worker at a new job. As you can see, being on thin ice means that you're in a precarious, unpredictable, dicey situation that could turn out badly, horribly, unfavorably. The full version of the idiom, on thin ice, is skating on thin ice, which is a metaphor for ice skating. You certainly wouldn't want to ice skate where the ice is too thin to support your weight. Online sources purport that the idiom, skating on thin ice, originates in the Netherlands a country known for its canals and rivers, where ice skating is a hugely popular winter pastime. On thin ice probably made its way into English via the Dutch, though the metaphor of being on thin ice first appears in writing in the oldest existing collection of Chinese poetry. In the Shi Jing, or the classic of poetry, one of the five classics, said to have been compiled by none other than Confucius himself over 2,000 years ago. During the Qing dynasty of China, 1644 to 1912, Caution and prudence are celebrated as being traits of a masculine hero, quite the opposite of what Western people these days think of as masculine. According to Martin W. Huang, in Negotiating Masculinities in Late Imperial China, famous author Li Lu Yuan often promoted manhood with a quote from the Shi Jing, as if approaching a deep abyss, as if walking on thin ice. Personally, as a father, I would highly advise against walking on thin ice and against getting too close to an abyss. You're on thin ice with your grades, You'll need to buckle down if you hope to get into that university program you've been talking about. Your dad might be advising you. Perhaps your teenager's curfew is 11 p.m., but it's almost midnight and she has just come home. This is the second time you've stayed out past curfew. You're on thin ice, Mrs. You need to respect their customs and practices. I don't want you to get us onto thin ice. You might be telling your impulsive friend during a trip to Asia. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation that is perilous, precarious, dodgy, or perhaps delicate, awkward, touchy, be sure to say that you're on thin ice.